Jeopardy is one of the longest running game shows on television today next to Will of Fortune and The Price is Right. I will admit that I am, in fact, a fan of the show myself. It's a great show where Alex Trebek, who is the host, gives the answer, and you have to say your answer in the form of a question. Many people went on the show to win cash and prizes over the past 25 years. Then, since the show was received well by critics, the show eventually got its first video game for the Coleco Atom computer. Then it was released in five different versions on the Nintendo, about ten on the original Game Boy, three on the Super Nintendo, four on the Sega Genesis, including a version on the Sega CD, one for Nintendo 64, two for the original PlayStation 1, and a ton of games on the DOS and Windows computers, one for PlayStation 2, then on PlayStation Network, and then the latest versions were released last year on the Wii and the DS. I know Jeopardy is a fantastic show and all, but this many versions have been released? It's ridiculous. This is the original Sega Genesis version I'm reviewing today. That's right, there is three different versions on the Genesis. Original, Sports, and Deluxe. Alright, let's start with the cartridge itself. You know how Sega Genesis games have end labels on the end of a cartridge? So it would be easier to organize on the shelf? Well, guess what? It has no end label whatsoever. Just the background design of the label sticker is on the end. Now let's go into the graphics. They are good, I guess. Nothing special. You are correct. In the gameplay, however, there's hardly any at all. You just choose a character, choose answers to a question, then answer questions and hope you do well. That's another issue. They managed to butcher a simple character selection screen. Sometimes you have to jerk the D-pad on the controller to choose your character, and there's only a total of six characters on the game. How, how did they manage to screw that up? Also, the AI is absolutely terrible. They either say the correct answer or XXX. That's right, three X's. The AI looked to be done with little to no effort at all. I remember playing this when I was eight back in the second grade. Or seven, whatever. I don't remember how old I was. And on rare occasion, XXX would actually be correct when it's not really correct. Also, if you're not the best speller ever, no offense, but you will have a hard time with this game. It's either you have the correct spelling or you lose dollars. I don't know how the developers say this has over 3,000 clues in it because it doesn't. The number of, is more like 250 or 200, or maybe even 150, because after you play at least 3-5 games, these questions start repeating and repeating. Well, you know what one of the only good things is in this game is? It's that Alex Trebek makes an appearance. Yeah, that's it. And with his sound, three sounds implemented. When you get through one game of it, or even five frickin' minutes of it, you'll be bored to death. There is little to no replayability or fun factor at all because it gets boring and repetitive. Only buy this if you are a diehard Jeopardy fan. You Thank you for watching and please subscribe.